What is up guys? My name is Thaddeus and right now I am actually in Hollywood. I think that's what the snapchat filter says. I don't know. Woo! Sunset up uh, in this video. I went like you know I'm always dropping content for you guys content no matter where I am I'll Just like give you guys like a little checklist because a lot of you I, again I get so many DMS I don't get to respond to everyone But like I, I always try and scroll through them daily at least and just see what everyone's kind of like saying just kind of gauge uh, Gosh get what the fuck, I don't know. trying to determine what most people are interested in or what they want to know right and One thing I've come to conclude is like a lot of people just want to know like everything they should do before they go live or like kind of like a startup Checklist right that, that's what I've like created for you guys. That's what I have <laughs> link in the description It's free, but I want to go over that with you guys and just kind of discuss like everything you should do um, To be prepared to scale and just to launch Like good like like not like like launch professionally so you actually look good your brand looks good um, And everything's kind of like running smoothly right so that's what we're gonna do and that's what I'm gonna get into so let's go do it All right there uh, there was an AC on and I hope that didn't fuck up the audio. This is a new camera guys Let me know what you think about the camera. I usually film with this fat motherfucker right here um, But I got like a vlogging camera. Why a vlogging camera? I don't know shit's going down stuff is happening Okay, so first thing we want to do is with your site You want to make sure or you want to like double check that you've added all the actual like sales channels You want to include on your Shopify site, right? Just for some insight. I had 60% of my sales come through Shopify payments, okay? 60% 30% came from PayPal, 10% were other, the Shopify like buy button, Amazon payments, that kind of stuff, right? So like, you, I just burped, I'm so sorry. But what you wanna do is you wanna like, like obviously include as many as you want or as many as you're comfortable with using. Um, like I myself wasn't even that comfortable with Amazon payments, but I did it anyways and like look, 10% of my sales came from that. Like customers feel safer paying through like gateways that they themselves use or they're like they're comfortable with, right? So I was like obviously like having as many as you want. Um, or that you can actually use um, is good. It's good. So that, that's that's one thing. All right. Now the next one is like this. Should, this should be like oh, this should be like a standard. All right. You guys need to launch with a custom domain. Don't launch with like my 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 clothing dot my shopify dot com. Like don't do that. It's not professional. Um, it it damages your brand. Like if if you, even if you don't think about that, like people go to your site and they're like oh. They, they, they're not even like a, an actual like company. That's what they think, okay? That's what they think. They don't think you're a company. They just think you're like some random person listing products online selling them, which you are, which I am, uh, but you don't want them to think that, right? So <laughs> that's what you do. Get a custom domain. Um, you know, GoDaddy, you can buy them through Shopify as well. Again, like this is all in a giant PDF in the link description if you just want to like skip the whole fucking video. Like, I don't know, saves you time, I guess. No, no, stay, stay, stay. I gotta get that view time up, bro. But next one, double check your payment gateway setup, right? I've literally had multiple people tell me like, yo, I had 120 add to carts, but no one purchased. And I was like, okay, um, that's terrible, first of all. But I look at their site. And I can't even like proceed to check out like they didn't actually go through and look at their own site and make sure that someone could actually buy a product That's not good. Okay, <laughs> that's simple But you guys want to make sure that like that's that's there and that's that's happening All right next thing you want to do like I got I got I got notes here, bro uh, Next thing you want to do is make the standard like go to like pages that should be on your site always like the about us page That's that's a, that's a little optional um, Depending on how you're leveraging your brand, but like a contact us page um, should be there and um, a shipping page, right? Contact us and shipping pages. Those should 100% be there for every single job shipping site you make. All right. Next one is I'm looking at, looking at my notes. Um, 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 um. Customize your email. No, oh, okay. This next one. All right. You want to customize your emails um, that customers get like after they purchase something or um, just for any any type of thing. So you go to Shopify. You go like notifications. You adjust those emails to like fit your brand. Um, Dude, I look good, man. This lighting is like, oh, my hair's a little messed up, but that's okay. Um, you want to customize your email notification settings to like fit your brand. So if someone orders, orders a product, right? For one of my sites, we we did like trendy deals and we leveraged it as like you know they're, they're shopping in like a gold mine um, of like trends and stuff. So like when they order, they'd be like, hey, you just got your little nugget of gold or so, like it was something like that, right? So again, you want to just customize your emails to kind of like fit your brand or like what you're trying to do. Have that like continuity of like brand presence throughout your throughout your store. All right. Next one guys, professional emails. This is one that like 90% of like Shopify people don't actually do, right? They'll launch their site and they'll have an email called like myjewelry at gmail.com. And it's not professional, like it, it works, but like it's not professional, right? And if you really want that brand continuity throughout your entire site and just your entire brand and all, like you want a professional email, right? And then um, I use like Gmail for business, it's like $5 a month for an email and you get like extra storage and stuff so like that's like a no-brainer um, <clears throat> so you can go sign up for that um, again every like literally everything that you need to know is in the 
in the in, in the PDF. Right down there. Alright, next one up is you need to audit your freaking website, guys. Like I've seen a lot of websites that people ask me to check out, and I go there, and the first thing I notice is like their grammar or like what 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 they're saying is not right. Like if you can't even talk English or <laughs> Talk English, guys. If you can't like professionally, like I, I need to like I need to like actually learn how to like speak. English. Um, if you can't, if you can't, I don't know what am I trying to say? Word your site properly and like correctly, it's gonna come off very cheap, very cheap, and you'll probably seem like foreign. And if you are foreign and you're targeting like the U.S., like your site's like all in English and stuff like that, you really need to make sure that like what your phrases, your descriptions, your product names, all that kind of stuff. Like it like flows and isn't spelled correctly, isn't using like weird um, words or like grammar or anything like that. Um, just because it does throw off people. That's the first thing you like notice when you go to a site is if something's spelled wrong or something like that, right? Um, so that's that. Next one, next thing you want to do is I'm um, not making people think about is like optimize your actual images. It's not like a necessity, but it helps, right? Uh, like every single product image you upload to your site, anything like that for products, um, banners, anything like that, you can actually have like SEO tags behind them and like labels to help you rank um, on SEO like search engine optimization so if someone searches you you can slowly start to like generate organic traffic and just rank your images higher so like if someone ever like if you're selling men's bracelets and your pictures were men's bracelets and you actually had those tags under your pictures you could theoretically rank like if someone googled men's bracelets go to images you could be there and they might go to your site right that's just smaller things that like can come in handy it's not like required but definitely something you can do it's like free too um there's a bunch of apps in the shopify store again link is in the pdf i'm just trying to help you guys out free content yo who wants free content i want free content i'm giving out free content everyone gets free content now back to these notes gotta have like 20 tabs open and i'm out of breath and next thing i want to do is install analytics right Install Google Analytics. Um, they, like this game, dropshipping, is just a numbers game, all right? This whole industry is just numbers. If you can figure out your numbers, you can print money, right? I, I just had a, I just got off like a call with someone today, um, helping them out with their site, and literally, um, what they did was they were telling me how they were averaging a dollar per every visitor, right? And that's good. They just, they just couldn't scale it up, and they didn't know how, and they didn't know what to do. Google Analytics, like it's numbers, guys. You just install that learn analyze everything like that and that brings me up to like the next one's like the facebook pixel crucial guys like you need to have that on your store before you even launch before you even go live before you have any sort of traffic hit your site you want that facebook pixel on as well as a google uh, bleh, google analytics code tracker whatever um on your site just to collect data collect you know who's adding to cart who's purchasing who's converting who's not converting what pages do they hit all that kind of good stuff you want to make sure you get that data so that when you do scale up and do paid ads you can like print money Right? Because think about it. If you can, if you know you get a dollar for every single visitor that hits your site on average, if you can pay for Facebook to like cost per click, like run CPC campaigns and have you know someone click and go to your website for 20 cents, that's 80 cents right there of like profit, right? Of course you gotta account in like cost of goods of your product and like other stuff. But that's the gist of it. You can literally print money if you know your numbers, guys. And that's that's why you want Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel like up on your site. Alright? You wanna adjust your tax and shipping rates, right? Um, obviously, like, I don't know where you guys live. You need to um, figure, out, <laughs> figure out where you live and look up your tax rates and stuff like that. Um, you can always talk to an accountant if you have like, time. They usually do free consultations too. Like, I, that's what I did. Um, but for shipping, really, if you're doing the free product plus shipping, you know, get that set up properly. I'll actually make a video on just setting that up because that's like something super popular. It's a good customer acquisition method. Um, I'll have a video setting that up, but make sure you set that up right. I kind of go over in the PDF, um, just like walk you through how to set it up. If it's too confusing, that's all good. I'll get a video for you. Only install the apps you like need or like that are essential, okay guys? Because there, there's there's thousands of apps in the Shopify app store and it's super easy to be like, all right, I want that one and 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 that one. And, like you want all these different apps that will like do all this crazy shit and no, you don't you don't need like hundreds of apps guys like all my sites had maybe like six or seven Mac I could get away with two or three usually okay That's what you need. You don't need anything again all my apps that I use are list below as well and in the PDF So that's should I'm pointing to the computer by the way I'm still getting used to this camera and like what's in the field of view And then the last thing you want to do guys to make yourself look more professional before you go live is actually remove the powered by Shopify link on the footer of your website Okay, it's super easy to do um, <laughs> I tell you how in my course um, 
Yeah, are you gonna drop $400 to buy my course? Learn how to know, okay? So, what you're gonna do, I'm gonna tell you guys how to do it right now. Of course, today, it's content, bro. Literally, you have to go and edit your theme.liquid um, code in your, like, in your in your Shopify site, you just have to go in. Um, there's a link on Shopify on how to do it. I, I linked it in the PDF as well. But literally, you just go and delete like a line of code, and you're good. All right. So that's that's that. I, I, I go a little bit more in depth into a lot of that stuff in the PDF. But um, if you want something like like on paper that you can just scroll through and be like, all right, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this. I think I'm good to go. Then that's good to go. Oh, oh shoot, I forgot. One. I forgot the most important one, guys. Marketing, right? Marketing. <laughs> You can have a good site if you if you, if you don't have a marketing plan then there's a no one's gonna see your site So what you want to do again like you can watch my other video on how to how like I find and source influencers But you want to build out a list of people that you're gonna like reach out to buy shout outs from or something like that Because me personally I don't go through paid ads first I like I, I don't do that there are people that do that and are successful with that But I'm just like why do that when I can just buy some shout outs have people come in get data test the data Like experiment and then you know just scale up with like look like audiences on Facebook with like the paid pixel that all the like it, the data it collects, right? <gasps> I hope the audio on this camera is good, man. I'm kind of worried, but it's okay. We're gonna find out now. Um, next thing. I'm in my bedroom here. I'm tired, man. I've just been like walking back and forth like a lunatic. Like, imagine all these office spaces that are like seeing me walk around, like talk to myself on a camera. Yo, I'm a vlogger, bro. Not really. I just own a business channel that talks about how to make money. Okay. Um, yeah, so content, you want a marketing plan, like how often are you buying shouters from these guys? Uh, when you're experimentating, like how often do you want to buy them and space them out so you're not like messing up with the traffic so you can actually like kind of figure out, you know, what, what pages drive, how much traffic and what quality of that traffic is, and then when to switch influencers, when to do all that kind of good stuff. Again, I've written that all in like in the PDF if you guys are just download. But yeah, you need a marketing plan, guys, and like I'll, I'll make a video going over like a fully flushed out like marketing like campaign for longevity that you can like kind of refer to and use. But I'm in Hollywood right now. I'm in Washington tomorrow and then I'm in Hawaii for a week and a half. Yeah, I need to figure out how to, how to make content. That's why I got this camera so I can kind of like record and talk on the go and um, do stuff like that. Cause that thing is a bitch to carry. If you saw my last video, oh my God. Yeah guys, that's the video. If you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Comment like always plugged in again. Oh shoot, the, the group, the group chat guys. Um, I, so I made, I, made, I made two things, all right? So one, is if you want to like just join this community of like every every everyone that we are I've made a telegram for us uh, <laughs> You can search always plug onto yeah, I got that I got that domain um not domain But like sub I got the link. Okay. I got the link got the got the link All right, so and the link is in the description too guys There's two groups right one is one where everyone can like communicate and talk with each other and just learn from each other And I'll be there and I'll talk to every once in a while too um, Whenever I'm available that's one there and then there's another channel called X commerce guys that is what's going to be dropping. This thing is going to be fucking huge. We're working with like hundreds and thousands of like people to get this thing. I just exaggerated because I forgot what I was going to say. Um, not hundreds and thousands of people. But we're working with a shit ton of people that have had crazy, crazy results in dropshipping, right? We're talking six and seven figure earners. We're working with them. We're making up content. We're making up like a community, like a hub of e-commerce. That's what like X-commerce is going to be, right? We're literally going to take over the fucking industry. Do you understand? We are game changers, bro. We're going to get everyone results and join the Telegram channel because that's where we're gonna post updates and stuff like that. I want to see how many people actually join this shit because um, I don't know I got like I passed 3,000 subscribers guys. So thank you I love you all very much, but I'm curious on how like how many people I can actually drive to join like a group like this Do it because you never know what I might drop in there too. Maybe exclusive stuff. I don't know. We'll see So that's what I'm trying to do. There's two groups guys link in bio join those get the free PDF You know give me I get your email and you get a free PDF the deal. That's the plan guys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. I have to go catch dinner with a buddy I haven't seen in two years. I will see you guys later. Take care. Peace.